question 27.7. Questioner, then I think I have extracted an important point from this in that in intelligent infinity we have work without polarity, or a potential difference does not have to exist. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. There is no difference, potential or kinetic, in unity. The basic rhythms of intelligent infinity are totally without distortion of any kind. The rhythms are clothed in mystery, for they are being itself. From this undistorted unity, however, appears a potential in relation to intelligent energy. In this way you may observe the term to be somewhat two-sided, one use of the term, that being as the undistorted unity, being without any kinetic or potential side. The other application of this term, which we use undifferentiatedly for lack of other terms in the sense of the vast potential tapped into by foci or focuses of energy, we call intelligent energy. Question 27.8 Questioner, I understand that the first distortion of intelligent infinity is the distortion of what we call free will. Can you give me a definition of this distortion? Answer, I am Ra. In this distortion of the law of one it is recognized that the creator will know itself. Question 27.9 Questioner, then am I correct in assuming that the creator then grants for this knowing the concept of total freedom of choice in the ways of knowing? Am I correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is quite correct. Question 27.10 Questioner, this then being the first distortion of the law of one, which I am assuming is the law of intelligent infinity, all other distortions which are the total experience of the creation spring from this. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is both correct and incorrect. In your illusion all experience springs from the law of free will or the way of confusion. In another sense, which we are learning, the experiences of this distortion. Question 27.11. Questioner, I will have to think about that and ask questions on it in the next session, so I will go on now to what you have given me as the second distortion which is the distortion of love. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 27.12. Questioner, I would like for you to define love in its sense as the second distortion. Answer, I am Ra. This must be defined against the background of intelligent infinity or unity or the one creator with the primal distortion of free will. The term love then may be seen as the focus, the choice of attack, the type of energy of an extremely, shall we say, high order which causes intelligent energy to be formed from the potential of intelligent infinity in just such and such a way. This then may be seen to be an object rather than an activity by some of your peoples, and the principle of this extremely strong energy focus being worshipped as the creator instead of unity or oneness from which all loves emanate. Question 27.13 Questioner, is there a manifestation of love that we could call vibration? Answer, I am Ra. Again we reach semantic difficulties. The vibration or density of love or understanding is not a term used in the same sense as the second distortion, love, the distortion love being the great activator and primal co-creator of various creations using intelligent infinity, the vibration love being that density in which those who have learned to do an activity called, loving, without significant distortion, then seek the ways of light or wisdom. Thus in vibratory sense love comes into light in the sense of the activity of unity in its free will. Love uses light and has the power to direct light in its distortions. Thus vibratory complexes recapitulate and reverse the creation in its unity, thus showing the rhythm or flow of the great heartbeat, if you will use this analogy. Question 27.14 Questioner, I will make a statement that I have extracted from the physics of Dulesson which may or may not be close to what we are trying to explain. Lesson says that all is motion which we can take as vibration, and that vibration is pure vibration and is not physical in any way or in any form or density, and the first product of that vibration is what we call the photon or particle of light. I am trying to make an analogy between this physical solution and the concept of love and light. Is this close to the concept of love creating light? Answer, I am Ra. You are correct. Question 27.15 Questioner, then I will expand a bit more on this concept. We have the infinite vibration of love which can occur, I am assuming, at varying frequencies. 
I would assume that begins at one basic frequency. Does this have any meaning? Answer, I am Ra. Each love, as you term the prime movers, comes from one frequency, if you wish to use this term. This frequency is unity. We would perhaps liken it rather to a strength than a frequency, this strength being infinite, the finite qualities being chosen by the particular nature of this primal movement. Question 27. 16. Questioner, then this vibration which is, for lack of better understanding, pure motion, it is pure love, it is nothing that has yet condensed, shall we say, to form any type of density of illusion. This love then creates by this process of vibration a photon, as we call it, which is the basic particle of light. This photon then, by added vibrations and rotation, further condenses into particles of the densities we experience. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 27.17 Questioner, then this light which forms the densities has what we call color. This color is divided into seven categories. Can you tell me if there is a reason or explanation for these categories of color? Answer, I am Ra. This will be the last complete question of this session as this instrument is low on vital energy. We will answer briefly and then you may question further in subsequent sessions. The nature of the vibratory patterns of your universe is dependent upon the configurations placed upon the original material or light by the focus or love using its intelligent energy to create a certain pattern of illusions or densities in order to satisfy its own intelligent estimate of a method of knowing itself. Thus the colors, as you call them, are as straight, or narrow, or necessary as is possible to express, given the will of love. There is further information which we shall be happy to share by answering your questions. However, we do not wish to deplete this instrument. Is there a short query necessary before we leave? Question 27.18 Questioner, the only thing I need to know is if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to help her or this contact? Answer, I am Ra. This instrument is slightly uncomfortable. Perhaps a simpler configuration of the body would be appropriate given the instrument's improving physical complex condition. I am Ra. You are conscientious in your endeavors. We shall be with you. We leave you now in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Rejoice, therefore, in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.